Okay, so let's go ahead and convert something that doesn't have just one lone unit. For example, if we had 3.5 meters per second, and we wanted to convert that into feet per hour. Let me get a better pen that shows up a little better. We're gonna convert each thing individually, so we'll convert the meters to the feet and the seconds to the hours without worrying about both of them together. Whenever we do dimensional analysis, always, always put only one unit in each box, never two. And when you have two units, it helps to start in the middle. So we're gonna start with the thing we wanna convert. So sorry, in the middle of the page, that's what I mean by that. So we're gonna start with 3.5 meters per second. Again, putting each unit in a box, its own separate box, never together. Um, if you wrote meters per second like that, it makes it more difficult to see. So you always wanna to try to put the horizontal line like this. So now we got meters, we need to change it into feet. A uh, conversion that would be given to us is that they're 3.2808 four feet per meter excuse me so down here we'll say 3.5 meters in a meter there are 3.28084 feet looking only at only at the meters first and changing them to feet now meters can cancel now we're in feet per second but we want to change the seconds into hours so in order to do that we're going to use conversions that we know. If this is seconds, we're going to put the seconds up here because meters and meters cancel on the diagonal. If this is seconds, we're going to put seconds up here. So we'll have 60 seconds per minute. How did I know that the 60 went here? Because there are 60 seconds in a minute, not 60 minutes in a second. And then if this is minutes, we must put minutes up here. And we'll change it to hours. And again, by the same principle, there are 60 minutes in an hour, not 60 hours in a minute, and that's how you know where it goes. So now we have 60 times 60 times 3.55 times 3.28084. Meters cancel, seconds cancel, minutes cancel, and our resulting unit are feet over hours. If you calculate this out, you get 41,338.6. This has an infinite number of sig figs because there are exactly 60 minutes in an hour. This is also infinite. This has two. This one can arguably be, arguably be infinite. And our resulting no, amount of sig figs is going to be two. So our final answer is 4.1 E4, or 4.1 times 10 to the four.